Welcome to the data collection tutorial for Articulation Station. This app has very comprehensive data tracking capabilities, and I'd like to go over them with you now. To access saved scores and data, tap on the clipboard icon at the bottom of the screen. You'll notice all the names you have entered will appear on the left. You can quickly add a name by tapping on the green Add Name button at the bottom of this column. When you select a name, that name will be highlighted in red, and the scores for that student's sessions will be on the right. Here you will notice that by default the scores are sorted by date, but by tapping the buttons at the top, you can sort the scores by sound, score, percentage, passed, or notes. You can also change passing from 80% to 90% by opening up your settings and switching the passing at 90% to on. Now you will see the scores above 80% but below 90% that were previously marked as passed are no longer marked as passing. You can also remove a session from this list by tapping the edit button and then selecting the session you wish to delete. Then tap delete. Or you can simply swipe to the left and tap the delete button that appears. You can also email all the scores on this list by tapping on the email button. As you can see, all the data from all your sessions are included in the email. If you'd like to view more specific session details, simply tap on the session you wish to view. From this view, you can see which words were correct, approximate, or incorrect for that session. You can listen to saved audio recordings, add notes, or view notes. You also have the option to email this specific session by tapping on the email button. From this screen, you may choose to attach the audio files to your email. You will know the file will be attached to the email if it has a green check to the right of the file name. A gray paper clip indicates the file has not been attached. If we tap the Done button, we can view the email we will be sending. You can also print the information from this screen if you have an AirPrint enabled printer. By tapping on the Repeat All button, you can repeat the entire activity, or if you tap the Repeat Miss button, you can repeat only what was missed. Now let's go back to the main data screen. You can also view student profiles by tapping on the little eye to the left of each name. From here you can edit a profile by tapping on the edit button. We'll go ahead and add a picture in for Sophie by tapping add photo. You can take a photo or select a photo. We'll select a photo. You can size it and then tap use. Now we can enter in all the information for the student's profile, including gender, the email address, the birthday, and any test results or goals we want to quickly access. Okay, let's go ahead and tap Done. If you'd like to delete a student altogether, just tap the Edit button on the top left and you will have the option to delete. You can also swipe to the left to delete a name. Deleting a student will delete all their scores from the application permanently. There is no limit on the number of students you can add to the application. When you have more than nine names entered into the application, the names will scroll vertically. And that's our data collection tutorial for Articulation Station. We hope all the great data collection features in this app will allow you to spend more time working with the kids and less time tracking data.